Awesome. Well, what's up, everybody? Back again for uh, day six. I think we're day six, right? I don't know. Maybe this is day seven. Oh, man, I totally messed that up. We're actually on day seven. Wow, that's awesome. We're like uh, through a whole week of this. So great. So I'm here with Tim Shermack. Really excited to have Tim with us. He's from Platform Marketing. If you don't have Tim's book, High Hanging Fruit, you need to make sure that you get that book because especially if you're a real estate agent, like this literally can be, you know, a business plan in terms of, you know, just understanding internet leads versus referrals and, and that kind of thing. So highly, highly recommend that you get Tim's book. Um, thanks so much for being here, man. Yeah, man. It's good to be here. I love hanging out uh, with anyone in the real estate uh, industry and talking about marketing because, I mean, I know that you probably teach this uh, to all the lenders that you work with, all the, um, all the mortgage people that, uh, you know, being being good at doing loans, right? Like being a better loan officer, like whatever that means, is not how you make more money, right? Like we always teach our realtors and platform, like you're probably already good enough to be a top producer. Right? Like either, either you're good enough or you're not. And so agents that, uh, you know, agents in your market that are making half a million dollars a year, you know, or more in GCI, it's not because they're like a better real estate agent than you are, like whatever that means, it's because they're better right. at marketing, right? And so you don't need more credentials, you don't need to attend more classes for continuing ed, you don't, you know, need to learn how to be a better negotiator or anything like that. Like none of that has anything to do with how successful you are and ultimately how much money you make. It's about marketing. Like that's all that matters. Um, getting good at sales and marketing, lead generation, and uh, specifically lead lead conversion. So uh, that's what we focus on. I know that's obviously, Nick, what, what you focus on in the Legion. Um, and so I get excited whenever I get to talk about it because this is the stuff that uh, changes people's careers. We actually had a realtor, I, uh, I just found this out actually recently in, in Platform who made $30,000 last year in uh, GCI. Um, which sounds like that's nothing, right? But that's actually like pretty much the average agent in the United States, right? 30,000 or less. And this year, you know, once she kind of applied some of our marketing principles, you know, that we teach and that we implement for people, um, in platform, she made a hundred thousand and wow. she was able to pay off in that difference. This last year, she paid off $50,000 of her personal student loans. Man, um, huge. yeah, that's the kind of stuff that gets me just excited. Cause it's like, cool, we made a material impact. Um, in this woman and her family's life. And now she doesn't have $50,000 of student loans on her personal balance sheet. Um, that's incredible. And it's all because she just embraced marketing as a real estate agent versus all the other shiny objects that you can care about. It's all about marketing. So yeah, I love any chance I get to talk about this stuff. For sure. Well, <clears throat> before we have you dive into your tip, um, if you're watching on the live right now, uh, make sure that you comment at number one to a hundred down in the comments. Uh, the prize that we're giving away today is, um, is a shout out from one of the stars of Million Dollar Listing LA. Uh, so you can have your pick between Josh Flagg, uh, Madison Hildebrand, or James Harris. And uh, you'll get a personal shout out. So especially if you're a realtor, this will be super awesome for, for you to have in your marketing because everybody knows who they are, of course. Um, and so just comment one to 100. We'll use a random number generator after Tim gives his tip for us today. And uh, we'll pick the winner. So uh, make sure you do that. So awesome, man. You want to dive into your tip around creating better social content? Yeah. So I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's this idea of insight versus content, a major, a major buzzword um, that's been going on for basically the last 10 years, honestly, is content marketing, right? Everyone talks about content marketing. You got to, you know, jab, jab, right hook, um, like Gary Vee teaches, or you got to serve, 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 and give people stuff before you ever ask for anything. And it all kind of circles around this idea of content marketing, produce content about your market, you know, and five, 10 years ago, what that meant is you got to write more blog posts. You got to write more blog posts. Now it's like, Hey, you got to do more Facebook lives or you need to tweet more. Or you need to, you know, <laughs> do lives of your open houses, or you should be using Snapchat for, you know, uh, take more Instagram photos of this and that. It's like, blah, 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 blah. Update your story on, you know, and that's all great. I'm not saying not to do any of that stuff, but what's been lost in this wave and this popularity contest with um, content marketing is that we think any content is valuable. Oh, if I'm putting something out there about whatever, what's going on in the market, like, oh, are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? Or, 
Um, you know, how many months of inventory do we have for realtors? Because realtors are like, oh, we have the FHA loan increase that happened yesterday or whatever yeah. that everybody like, puts out. gives a shit. Like the average person doesn't know what any of that means. Exactly. So if you say like, hey, we have 3.6 months of inventory or we have 4.9 or we have 1.2 months of inventory, what does that even mean? And so there's a difference between content and insight. And I know this might make me sound like old cranky Tim, but I believe that probably more than 95% of what gets published out there as content marketing is basically useless. It's, 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 it's information, but it's stuff that people already knew. They're like, oh, we're in a seller's market right now in Dallas, or we're in a buyer's market right now in Dallas. It's like, well, duh. If you're in a hardcore seller's market or a hardcore buyer's market, anyone who's actually seriously thinking about buying a home in 2019, uh, in 2019 probably already knows that, right? So most agents and lenders, and this is true of any small business owner too, they think that, oh, I'm doing a good job with content marketing, but what they're really doing is just publishing information out there that's so obvious that everyone already knew it. And so it doesn't really position you as an expert. They're not really investing resources into creating genuinely helpful content. And because of that, their content doesn't stand out in the market and it looks like everyone else's. And so it's really not even conveying any sort of like authoritative advantage on them that positions them as being the expert. Cause right. you know, read any marketing books, you're going to hear a marketer, you know, eventually at some point talk about, you've got to be positioned as an expert you have to be the authority in your market and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it, 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 that's, that's true. Right. But most content that people are publishing does not accomplish that. Right. So insight versus content. Are you actually publishing insights? Like something like, Oh, interesting. I never thought about it like that. Or I wouldn't have, known that had you not told me i never would have thought about it had you not presented it that way yeah. is it actually something that's not intuitive but rather counterintuitive where i actually feel like hey by listening to nick's content or by listening to tim's content i actually learned something or thought about something in a totally new way that i never would have thought about it had i not listened to tim or had i not listened to nick right so that's insight actually i learned something and i feel like i got new value from listening to you that's an actual insight honestly 95% of what passes as content marketing, it's not an insight. It's just like you're repeating something that everyone already knew anyways. Like, oh, when you buy a house, before you start house hunting, make sure you get pre-approved. That's what every loan officer says. It's not like new groundbreaking information anymore, right? right. I'm not saying don't say that, but what if you created a specific 10-step checklist of here's what you need to do, here are the specific documents you need before you talk to a loan officer, or just something that goes one step beyond its insight versus being something that someone could find on page one of a freaking Google search. Right. Right. So your content needs to go deeper than just stuff off the top of your head that everyone already knew anyways. And so a couple of examples of that, when we're marketing platform, platform is a marketing agency uh, that works with realtors and other, and other small business owners. We paid a video production company. Uh, it's actually not even like a video production company. It's like a film production company. Um, over over fifty thousand dollars to produce a documentary for us. So it's not just a webinar. It's not just a video. It's like a legit seventy minute documentary about our marketing process. And we flew them all around the country to interview all of our best case studies and kind of what they've done in their local real estate market to become success stories. Like the marketing strategies they've used, how it affected their work life balance, their family. We interviewed them at their offices. We interviewed them with their families driving around in the car. It wasn't just like a studio interview, right? It's like a right. legit. It's filmed in the style of a document, right? Uh, previously, before we worked with them, they had worked on a project for Whole Foods. They had worked on doing commercial work with Aston Martin. So it was like a legit film production company we hired. Uh, because one decision I made is like, well, I can either pump you know, a shitload of money into Facebook ads and constantly doing promotions and webinars and trying to get people to sign up for platform. That way, kind of the quantity over quality approach. Or I can invest you know, a larger sum of money into producing something really, really quality that I'll actually end up spending less money on marketing overall because this will stand out so much in the marketplace that I actually will end up spending less on ads and it help, does a better job selling people and convincing them to give platform a try um, because it's actually full of insight. It's not just content marketing. I mean, you, you probably can't name a single other company, whether it's Boomtown, Sync, Curator, Ylopo, Real Geeks, all the other ones, right, that have anything remotely like this they publish content all the time but it's content not necessarily insights right right well we have like a legit 70 minute documentary 
that when someone is interested in hiring us, usually what we tell them is like, hey, watch our documentary. And then if what you see interests you and you want to learn more, then let's set up a time to talk. So it's the ultimate authoritative positioning tool because we were willing to make that upfront, uh, upfront investment and spend a lot of money and time and resources producing. It's insight versus content, right? I also wrote a book. I mean, I, I know you held up a copy of my book there. Yeah. You know, it's not a 20 page ebook. It's not like just a series of blog articles that I published and I pretended it was a book. It's a 200 page book that we actually send to people in the mail. Like, I mean, Nick obviously is holding up a real copy. So it's not just a PDF ebook. And not to knock people who have written PDF ebooks, but um, it shows up totally differently. You position yourself and your company totally differently if you actually have a real physical, tangible book that you can hold in your hand. It's full of insights not just content, right? I tried to, every chapter I wrote in that book, I tried to contribute something new to the discussion of the future of real estate marketing that wasn't already being talked about on all the other blogs, you know, that wasn't already being talked about by Chris Smith, the curator, or, you know, the folks at Boomtown or Sync or Inman or, you know, um, like the lab code agents group on Facebook, like any of that stuff and try to contribute new ideas, new insights that people otherwise wouldn't have thought about about how they approach their marketing. Because then that's what positions me as an expert. It's contributing insights to the industry, not just content that everyone already knew anyways, right? We don't need any more blog articles or podcasts of people telling us that like, oh, you should use Facebook Live on your open houses, or you should run Facebook ads for coming soon listings, or you should offer buyers a hot list so they can find out first about new listings on the market. Like all that stuff is great, but if you and you know, all the other agents in your market are all doing the same thing, it's a zero sum game and it loses its, its effectiveness. So yeah. the way to stand out is to be very clear on the distinction between genuine insight and just generic content. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, I was going to mention your, your documentary because I think it's super awesome. Um, I'm pretty confident that Bobby's going to make a similar thing coming up in the next few months. Uh, because I know he's about to go on a little world tour and, and it's just an awesome idea. Um, if you want to see Tim's movie, at least the easiest way I know of is to go to YouTube and type in Tim Shermack platform movie and it'll show up there somewhere. Like it's like, like he said, it's around 70 minutes. Definitely. You should watch it. Um, both if you're interested in working with Tim, because it'll show you, you know, more insight into working with him as a, um, you know, in, in his marketing as well. But uh, it's an awesome movie. Right. It's just worth watching because you did an amazing job and the team you hired, you can tell that you guys put money and time into it for sure. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on it. Uh, uh, so, but, but it was totally worth it. It was totally worth it. And our uh, head sales guy, Mitch, who does an amazing, um, amazing job. He actually used to be on the sales team for Forbes Media um, prior to joining um, Platform Marketing. And he says that when he hops on a phone call with someone, you know, a realtor who's interested in working with Platform, over 90% of the time, they've already watched our documentary. Wow. And it's over 70 minutes long. So it's like some people complain about, oh, I try to get prospects to watch this two minute video or this five minute video before they hop on the phone with me, right? And usually it doesn't work. Well, we have a 70, I think it's a 72 minute or a 73 minute film that people are watching in its, entire, in its entirety. Like they watch it from start to finish before they ever hop on a sales call. So those sales calls are a lot easier for us when they've watched a 70 minute basically infomercial about right. platform and our, our marketing philosophy and how we're different. So uh, again, it's insight versus content. Don't just produce generic content, create something that's actually different that actually adds value. And that, that isn't just intuitive. It isn't just something that, you know, that someone might've already known, right? It should introduce something new that they wouldn't have otherwise thought of had they not paid attention to you. Yeah. Yeah. One real life example that I learned from you just around that concept was, uh, in regards to some of how you do some of your retargeting, like using local business things and, you know, a list of taco shops, right? Some of this kind of ideas um, on the back end, like, you know, of, right. you know, once you introduce somebody to who you are or they, you know, opt in for your hot list or whatever thing, right? Then you can have your retargeting hitting them from your branded page with some of these other things around local businesses and things like that. And, you know, giving some insight to local businesses. That's definitely one thing that I learned from you. Yep. I mean, even, even, even taking a stand and agents, agents hate doing this, but it's like, Hey, rank the top five neighborhoods in your city. Here's one, two, three, four, five, rank the top five taco places, or the top five pizza places 
in your market or, you know, like what are the top five places in town to get a burger? Like actually do number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Cause that's actually insight, mm -hmm. right? It's insight about the local market. It's insight about what are the best subdivisions, the best communities, um, actually take a stand, have opinions. Cause that's, that's the content that's actually interesting. Most lenders and realtors out there are so just afraid of offending someone that their content is vanilla. It's boring. And it's like I said, it's content. It's not insight. Right. If I'm moving somewhere, I would love to see someone's opinions. Mm -hmm. Like where you rank, what are the top five neighborhoods or subdivisions? What are the top five restaurants to go to? What are the top 10 things that you have to do if you visit Frisco, Texas, or if you visit Jacksonville, Florida, like actually take a stand and produce some insight versus just generic content that I could find by searching on page one of Google search results. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome idea, man. For sure. That was great. All right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use the random number generator if you haven't already. Um, make sure you drop, drop a number 1 to 100 down in the comments. We're going to give away the million dollar listing shout out. And also make sure you go grab a copy of Tim's book. I don't even know, how, how do they get the, the book, Tim, if they wanted to get a copy of your book? Is it available somewhere? Yeah, we, uh, let's see, what would be the easiest place? Um, go to actually www.topagentsmovie.com. So topagentsmovie.com. And that's where you can watch, uh, watch the movie for free, the high hanging fruit documentary I was talking about. But then also if you request information there, um, Mitch will send you an email afterwards and then Mitch can send you a copy of that book, like a, an actual real like physical copy. Cool. Yeah. I think, uh, I told the story on Facebook, but I was so nervous to like request a book myself. I used my wife's name, <laughs> you know, back when you put this book out in 2016, man. But Hey, like I said, I told the story before. So, um, Cool. Well, look, uh, number, the winning number is number 39. So I don't know who has number 39. Maybe somebody can go in the comments, tell us who that is. I'll check as soon as we get off here because for whatever reason, I can only ever see like four comments at a time. And, and if I try to go look through them, they just don't show up for me. So, um, well, thank you so much for being on here. Really appreciate that tip. Insight versus content. Such a great, such a great piece. Really, really easy to understand as well. So thank you so much. Uh, just a real quick for tomorrow, we're going to have Michael Mann. Um, he runs a huge team out in Pennsylvania. He's going to be, okay, so cool. Eric Dahlberg, it looks like he won, looks like he won today. So um, awesome, Eric. Let me know who you want to get your shout out from, whether you want Josh Flagg, uh, Madison Hildebrand, or James Harris. James Harris. That's how I try to remember that guy's name. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow's going to be Michael Mann. He's a loan officer with a huge team out in Pennsylvania. They're crushing and uh, we're going to give away access to the original, uh, the original renter ad, um, which is a digital course. It teaches you how to go and generate first time home buyer leads on Facebook, teaches you a few different ways to capture those leads. And in general, those leads are coming in for a dollar to $3 a piece in most markets. So that'll be tomorrow. Congratulations, Eric, on winning today. And uh, thanks so much, Tim, for being here with me today and sharing that tip on uh, insight versus content. Appreciate that. And remember that Toy Story 4 is coming out this summer. <laughs> awesome. I love, I love how fanatical you are about Disney, man. That's so great. Well, and Pixar too, apparently. So awesome, man. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you. All right. See you, man. Later.